Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image.com. I've had a lot of questions lately about the D750, about the camera itself, the existing D750, but also a lot about its replacement. This is a popular camera, uh, as seen by the number of questions I get in on it, whether or not it's still worth buying, and what the replacement's going to be. Essentially, we've talked about this before, um, there are supposed to be, I was just reading over on uh, Nikon Rumors, which made me think about this, and I've had a few emails in just recently on it. Um, and they're saying two new high-end cameras are rumored for 2018 from Nikon. Will the D750 be one of them? I think there's a good chance, probably end of the year, maybe fourth quarter, we will see an announcement for, let's say, the D760. I'm thinking that's what it's going to be called, but it's hard to say. We're thinking uh, there's, a, there's probably a good chance that the 760 will stay with the existing 24 megapixel sensor just in a tweaked format in, in the sense that we'll get another 24 megapixel sensor, but maybe a better performing one, uh, maybe a stop better high ISO, maybe a stop better dynamic range, something to compete with the a7 III um, in the sense of DSLR versus mirrorless in that in that category of sensor though is what I'm talking about. Obviously we're talking about DSLR versus mirrorless, but I'm talking about the sensor and its performance and its resolution. What I would like to see is uh, the 750 get the 810's 36 megapixel sensor. I think now that we have the 850 out with its 46, I think we could easily see Nikon put the 36, and it's already in the parts bin, uh, in the 750's replacement, in the 760, if you will. get an, that, that sensor is a beautiful performing sensor, and I think you could even take the existing sensor and with new technology on the processor side tweak it and get your stop or two of high iso improvement and dynamic range improvement even if we didn't i'm still a big fan of the 810's performance as is i think it would come out as an amazing camera so you could essentially get a refresh of the 750 with an 810 36 megapixel sensor in it um, the autofocus system is fine but we could see some enhancements drip uh, drip down from the 850 in that regard I'd like to see a fully articulated screen. I know we've debated this back and forth, but I think all cameras should have a fully articulated screen now. I think the advantages far outweigh any possible disadvantages people have talked about um, regarding concerns over build and how easy they are to break. I've never seen one break. You could break anything if you try hard enough, but I've never broken one and I haven't seen one broken. I'm sure somebody out there has, but I don't think it's an issue. Just build it to a higher standard. The standards they're building them to right now, again, I haven't seen one break. So I'd like to see that. I'd like to see a very angle, fully articulated screen. 4K, obviously. Um, some enhancements in there. Uh, and I'd also like to see, um, basically, we should get a dual pixel autofocus system. Something like Canon's dual pixel autofocus system. We've talked about this with the coming Nikon full frame mirrorless cameras. Nikon needs to have something to compete in this arena. Canon has the dual pixel AF, Sony has their version of it, and arguably maybe even better than Canon's. Uh, Nikon, I, I, I think they know that they have to come out of the gate with the mirrorless with this, and I think we would have to see this in a 760 replacement. So that's how I would bill a 760, um, the, the D750's replacement. Uh, 36 megapixel sensor, bring it down from the 810, or just a tweaked one, or even a new one with even better performance. The 4K with some tweaks and additions to that. I don't think we're going to see 8K from Nikon quite yet, even though Panasonic's working on it. I think we should see, I would like to see a full very angle LCD, obviously touchscreen. I would also like to see the, um, the ability. I would also like to see an enhanced autofocus system, a little bit of tweaks and improvements, trickle down from the 850. And along with that, when we're talking about the autofocus, something to compete with, at least on par with Canon's dual pixel AF, if not groundbreaking, um, that beats them all. That would be nice because then it puts all the competition on their guard and they have to come out and produce something that's going to be even better, which only benefits all of us. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me on what we should see in a 760? I think we're getting closer to one. Uh, I think we're going to see one probably fourth quarter announcement. If not, I suspect we'll see one in 2019. Yes, I think uh, Nikon will announce one. I don't think this is going to be something that we don't see another body 
in the 750. Even though we've got some full frame coming out, I think you will see at least one more iteration of the 750. Uh, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Is that how you would spec a 760? Is there something else you would like to see in it? Do you think maybe we won't get a 760 because the mirrorless are coming out and you're going to see Nikon shift wholeheartedly to mirrorless? I don't think so, but maybe you do. Let us know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. This is a very popular camera, and I think the, uh, the expected replacement is going to be very popular as well. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.